Okay, so we're going to look at some different visions of how these goals align. Uh, the first one is given to us by Plato, which is like the idealistic world. In Plato's world, um, everything starts with the good, with your relationship with like how you were created to be. So that's a vertical relationship. It says that basically if you live the good, you will be in right relationships here in the here and now. If you're in right relationships, you will have a healthy life that will be a long life and will be prosperous. And that ultimately, if we build laws, it should be built on this standard. So this is like the classical, true, formal kind of world. Not every ethical system is built this way, but this is the one that's kind of presented oftentimes as normal. Um, in our modern world, we've seen some different versions of this. We've seen an anarchy, which basically says that good is important, right is important, healthy is important, but we're not too concerned about legal because laws are things that people make up and we're going to just kind of consider them irrelevant. Um, there are nihilists who come up with that we have an importance to be in right relationship with each other, that we should be healthy, and that we should follow the laws, but they're going to say that any type of vertical relationship, like there being a god or an ideal self, is all just a fiction that doesn't matter. Um, some other folks are called utilitarians. Uh, utilitarians basically say it's important for us to be in right relationship to each other, and if we do that, we will be our best selves. And if we, sorry, then, sorry. That's not correct. We should codify that in laws. And if we all follow those laws, we will be our best selves. So for the utilitarian, whether or not you're actually um, doing something that's healthy is irrelevant. I mean, the utilitarian would be okay with killing off a human being in order to um, actually do what's right for the greatest number of people. Uh, we have people that are called Epicureans. Um, they start with, if I do something that is good or beautiful, and it's healthy for me, then that's going to put me in right relationships with the world and with other people, and that's how we should base laws. So, like, literally, this is the ethical framework that gets us stuff like marijuana legalization. It's like, hey, it's good. It's healthy. It should be right. Um, ultimately, we should make it legal. Uh, another group that gets some traction are hedonists. Hedonists basically have a very simple idea. If it's good, then it's right. And we don't care about the law. And we don't care about being healthy. This is, like, if it's beautiful and I get pleasure out of it, then it's going to put me in right relationship with each other and other people, and that's all that matters. This is literally like eat, drink, and be merry, because we don't have to worry about our health, and we don't have to worry about legality, because you know what? Tomorrow we could die, and that's about it. So this is just a sampling of ways that people in our world take some of these four goals of ethics and combine them together to get different ways of thinking. And we'll kind of run through this a little bit more in class and do some experimenting with it. All right, so there we go.